You cannot create good income kung bawat trabaho mo tsaka ka lang kikita. Whether you like it or not, you will be having a leverage if you know how to teach. Finally, dumating na din ating first dish. This is called the Greek salad. Okay? So, this is mixed up with uh, fresh salad, vegetables, okay, with uh, pepper, the olives, and sobrang perfect syempre with garlic bread. Tikman natin. The crunchiness of the vegetables with the sauce, and with the juice, with the dressing. Sobrang perfect. Super healthy. Rich salad. One of the best food here in the Little Sandrini and the Lobotangas. Salsicha pizza. Mm. Wow. Ang lasa ng salsicha. Salsicha meat. This is actually sausage. Salsicha sausage, yeah. Salsicha. Mm. Plus the grilled cheese. And yung dough niya, hindi siya sobrang tegas na dough. Like typical dough. It's a par parang siyang bread dough. Ladders of leadership. Well, today I'll be discussing a very important topic about leadership. And you know for a fact that we are all actually leader. And although we are not born leader because leaders are not born and they are built, okay? So leadership skills natin, leadership quality natin, and develop yan as time goes by as long as we can adapt things, skills, and attitude to become a leader. Today, I explain ko sa inyo ano yung mga ladder for leadership or ladder to become a leader, okay? So in all kinds of career that you're doing right now, sa lahat ng bagay na ginagawa mo ngayon, whether it's a business, or you're in sales, or in network marketing, or a sales agent, insurance agent, whatever, or your employee to kick. Guys, always remember that the first ladder that you will undergo to become a leader or to, to gain leadership skills, number one, is becoming a student. Why? Kasi lahat ng bagay, kapag first time mong ginawa, lalo tiget, if you're just new on that certain career, if you're just new on that stuff, you whether you like it or not, you have to learn it by being a student. Hindi ka pwedeng, alam mo na lahat, tanggalin mo yung acne. What's acne? Alam ko na yan attitude. Well, if you're just new and you want to learn new things, so you want to learn that certain thing, whether you like it or not, you have to be a student. Kailangan mag-humble down ka. You should be like a sponge, a dried sponge. Alam mo yung dried sponge? yung tuyo na sponge no anything na i ano mo dyan na na ilagay mo na tubig it will absorb it the other way around yung mga sponge na punong puno ng tubig hindi na mag absorb yun well why? kasi pag natuto ka syempre sa una hindi mo pa alam yung ginagawa mo or that kind of business if being a student you'll be about to learn meron kang listening attitude learning attitude and everything and ang goal mo kasi to become a student is matuto you have to be a good student how to become a good student ano ba yung mga good student mga honor student diba? ito yung mga tipo ng tao na madaling matuto and that's your first step to become a student ang goal mo matuto believe me guys you will be a good quality student if you'll be about to know and learn that certain thing that business that's the first step towards leadership first ladder to become a student number two second ladder to become a leader leadership the second is you know how to teach why? you will become a teacher no na student ka natuto ka na whether you like it or not if you want to create or get your dreams you must have a team sabi nga your dream should be as huge as your team and yung team magsisimula yan sa isa katulad mo noon na nag student ka pa as a business owner tuturuan mo yung employee mo I'm telling you yung mga business 
business owner na hindi nila alam yung business nila, may harapan sila maging successful. And even you, if you don't know your business, you cannot teach it. Eh. If you don't know on how to do it, you cannot teach a student like you. So bottom line, you should be a teacher. Dapat marunong kang magturo. Hindi pwedeng laging ikaw. Imagine, if you have a business, you cannot create leverage. You cannot create good income kung bawat trabaho mo, tsaka ka lang kikita. Whether you like it or not, you will be having a leverage if you know how to teach. Kasi pag yung tinuruan mo, natuto na yan, syempre, mag-expand yung business mo, whether you like it or not, mag hire ka ng panibago. You will create another sales team. Magkakamayon ka ng ibang downlines. Lalaki na yung team mo. Alright? Kapag lumaki na yung team mo, what's next? First step, maging student ka, pangalawa, naging teacher ka, pangatlo, you'll become a coach. Why? Kasi magkakamayon ka ng team. di ba? Magkakamayon ka na ng organization. You will become a coach. Alright? And believe me, a lot of coaches are leaders. Ito yan, even sa coach of basketball, di ba? A lot of coaches. I've knew a lot of coaches. Leaders sila. Why? Because dinaan nila yung ladder na tuto, a student, ah, nagturo at the same time, nagahandle ng team. Na yung tinuruan mo, tuturuan mo magturo. It's about duplication. Well, bottom line, always remember this. Your dream should be the same size of your team. Kung malaki ang pangarap mo para sa business mo, dapat malaki din ang binibuild mo natin. Alright? So, I hope you pray guys. Meron ka natutunan. Again, nito pa rin tayo ngayon. Si Dil Santorini sa Kamli Tanya Nilo Batangas. I'm enjoying the best of life here. And I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful to God for the gift of nature. Nung isang gabi, nakahapon, even this morning, we have a dive and I have seen the beauty of nature underwater. Grabe. Sobrang dami palang magandang creature underwater. And you will be about to appreciate that kapag nagda-dive ka. Anyway, kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe, si Bishal, mag-subscribe ka na. Don't forget to click the notification bell para lang ka ma-notify every time meron tayong mga videos. Tinapload again, this is Coach Jobs always saying, be safe and you can be the best. Bye! Bye.